it to the Win slash Encore property for a $600 Signature Series event. Three day ones, a quarter million dollar prize pool, which always gets doubled or something. Could be close to six figures up top. Max late reg, one bullet, one and done, efficient. Don't ask me about the difference between late reg and regging on time. It's complicated. If you guys wonder where I've been the last few months, it's not playing much live poker, hence not many poker vlogs. I did get a couple min caches in the WPT win events, the 1600 mystery bounty, the uh, 500 or $1,100 kickoff event. We played the 10K main event, lost on day one. Could have made a vlog out of that. Probably not too exciting to watch me just torch $10,000. Pretty depressing to edit and relive. You can find me almost every day on Twitch. Jeff Boski is the channel name. Six o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I am live most days. Hit the follow button. It's free. I just find uh, online poker a lot more convenient and a lot more efficient when I can play thousands of hands and entertain an audience, interact, create content from the luxury of my home. All the amenities that I could ever need are a fingertip away. Hopefully we do good in this tournament. Bag and tag. Bag and tag. 30,000 starting stack. I'm happy with 150,000. I'm not greedy. And make it to day two. That is the goal. Let's get in there and gamble. All right, we're here. The win, $600, day 1A with special guest. Hello. Michael Bailey, owner of Poker Films on YouTube. Check him out. The highest quality editing money you can buy in the poker-related field. We're going to bag and tag in about five hours. We're in for one bullet, max late reg. Coming in with 20 blinds, more than enough. Probably fold away half my stack and then double and go on break. That's my prediction. And when I saw the gloves, right, right. Like, the there gloves. was like, it was the guy's gloves, and I was like, yeah. With blinds at? 1,500. I'm in the big blind. Under the gun plus one opens to 3,000. Middle position calls, small blind calls, and we look down at pocket sevens, just under 20 bigs. What do you do? Safe play is definitely to put in the call and try to flop a set in a four way pot, but I think we got some good fold equity pre flop. Let's go with that squeeze jam. I shove all in, an original razor quickly reshoves. That's a problem. Other two people quickly fold. And we're up against Jack-10 offsuit. Optimistic, but good read. Let's see what happens. We have video. The sevens hold, and we're up to 65,000 chips in for one bullet. Max late reg, baby. 20 bigs. With a 1500 big blind, action folds to the cutoff, who makes it 3,000. I'm on the button with ace four of diamonds, so we pop it up to 8,000 chips to go. We're repping aces. He thinks about it and puts in the call. We're heads up in position, and the flop is ace, 10, six. We got top pair. Are we out kicked? I think we have to bet our range here. When he checks, we've got 6,000, and he calls. No flush draw present. Could have a 10, could have a Broadway draw, or a better ace. When the turn brings a deuce, he checks and could barrel here, seems a little thin. So we check to protect our check back range because balance is important in live poker. No it's, no, it's not. The river is a king. Queen Jack gets there. King 10 gets there. Ace King already had his beat. Probably doesn't have pocket kings, but he does bet 20,000 chips. What's he repping? What can we beat? I convince myself to call after checking the turn, being underrepped, and he shows us the bad news, which is king nine of diamonds. And we lose a huge pot. A note to self, when taking this line, just fold the river. They don't have any bluffs. The very last hand before break, the guy on my right opens two. 6,000 at 2,500 big blind. I'm next act with ace five of clubs. Normally a great three bet candidate, but I rolled low. So we're gonna put this in our flatting range and we get heads up. We see a flop of ace, jack, seven. 
Rainbow. He continues with a 5,000 chip bet. We're not going anywhere with top pair, I'll tell you that. Let's hope no Broadway cards come off. A six of hearts hits the turn, looks good to me. Not a five, but we'll take it. He continues the story with a 12,000 chip bet. Not loving it, but I don't think I can fold top pair. What's the point? We put in the call. The river is the four of hearts. Backdoor hearts get there. He tanks and tanks and tanks and bets 30,000. What's he repping? Would he bet 30,000 with top pair better kicker? Or is he always backdoor to flush? Or is he bluffing with a hand like 8-9, king-queen, king-10, queen-10? There's only one way to find out. We put in the call, half the table's gone on break, and he shows his hand and he stops in shock as he exposes the three of clubs. Three of clubs? What's the other card? It's another three. He says, I misread my hand and I believe him. Incredible luck for us. Top pair good. He said he thought he had pocket sixes. He thought he turned his set. We'll take it. And we're up to 133,000 on break. What do you think you had? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, With blinds that, 2,000, 4,000, 4,000. Early position, Asian male age 21 to 22. Makes it 10,000 to go at 2.5x. We're on the button with ace queen. We have similar stacks at about 110,000. What do you do with ace queen on? Call, three bet fold, three bet call. What's the plan? We got the button, we put in the call. The big blind comes along and we are three ways to a flop of queen, six, four, rainbow. Checks the razor who puts in the C bet of 15,000. And this is where things get crazy. I decide to raise. I don't think this is the right play. I make it 40,000. Big blind folds and original razor puts in the call quickly. Hoping he has king queen or queen jack at this point. Under a pot size bet remaining. It turns a nine of hearts, I believe. He checks, we think about it, and we shove all in for about 70,000 chips. He goes deep into the tank and eventually folds and shows a queen. Yeah, in retrospect, just call, call flop. We don't have much to protect against. What are we afraid of, a king popping off? We have an ace. He's got kings or aces or queens. He's got his feet, whatever. We're just gonna call him down. Better just to call him position than raise there. It doesn't make any sense. Unless I'm leveling him into thinking I'm bluffing, but what am I bluffed here? So it feels like we lost some value there, but it's all good. Defend the big blind with King Jack off three ways. Jack 10, three, two hearts. We got the jack of hearts. Check over call 12K. It's already getting dicey. Turns a 10. No reason to turn our hand into a bluff, although we have the most 10s here. Action checks through and the river's a jack. Ace queen gets there. Pocket jacks get there. But we also got there. We're now ahead of king queen and ace king. So it could check call, but I prefer to lead fold and make it 28,000 original razor. Puts in the call, other guy folds, and then we get shown pocket aces. I knew it was ace king or aces. And her two pair is greater than my two pair, and we lose a hefty pot. With 21 players remaining, 17 make day two at 55,000 chips at 5K big blind. Folds me in the cutoff, ace eight suited, we shove all in. Big blind goes in the tank and puts in the call, ace 10 off is good. Good read, we need to get lucky. And here's the video. We do get lucky, and we get that double up to 118K. Are we gonna sit back and try to min-cash and make day two, or 
Are we going to play to win? Stay tuned to find out. Hundred and five thousand chips on last break of the night. It's about midnight. Twenty remain. Seventeen get paid. Make day two. About to be six k big blind ante. Let's find that eater. Finish strong. A side note: I was able to employ my under the gun limping strategy, which confused the table many times. One time I limped tens under the gun. Asian male age 21 to 22 raises it up and we back raise to 20,000 off of a 6k raise. Any folds? Three more spots. All right, small blind and big blind. 19 players remain, 17 get paid. 105,000 in my stack. Base Baldy in the big blind. Has me covered. Look down at East King. Black, but not suited. What's the play here at 6K Big Blind? We just rip it, or we try to induce from worse aces, king axes. I'm in race. The button calls. Baseball, he calls for three ways to a flop. Ace high dealer. Flop comes queen, queen 10. Two clubs. What do you do? Baldy checks to us. We have 93,000 behind. What's the plan? Bet call, bet fold, check call, hope it checks through. I do check it to the button who's been a bit of a bit of a bit of a button clicker. And he bets 30,000. Baseball he folds and it's back to us. We have 93,000. Call, fold, jam. Two from the money. Two from making day two. And we say two words. I'm all in. We count it out for him. Tournament life on the line. Backdoor clubs, just in case. Any folds, and we take down a fat pot, putting us up to about 170,000 chips. We're playing to win. Fold for a few orbits. Table gets broken. Final 18, hand for hand on the money bubble. This is where men come to survive, or men come to die. No good hands. Shorty goes all in with six, seven of clubs. Gets called by eight. And he's out. We made it to day two with 141,000 chips and we are in the money. And we have bagged. And tagged 141,000 chips. Probably coming back to 6K big blind. Day two, about $1,200 locked up. We're in for one bullet. Sitting pretty, almost five starting stacks. We are a 25 big blind master. Let's spin it up and make the final table of this prestigious signature series event at the win, quarter million guaranteed, three flights. Day two, win, $600, quarter million guaranteed. Step one is to make day two, step two is to make the final table, and step three is to chop. Have a favorable chop, or just ship it all. It's a three-step process. We're 33% of the way there. We play to a winner tonight, so it's going to be a long day. Stay tuned for some exciting poker action. And when I'm not making live vlogs, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Jeff Boski. Some may consider bringing a seat cushion to a poker tournament to be a strange move, but it's actually me predicting the future. A long day stacking chips and being comfortable. Preparation is next to godliness, which is next to cleanliness, or something. Hey, how you been? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, too. Oh, there it is. Hello. 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 If you do not have an America's Cardroom account, now is the time to sign up. Use promo code BOSKI on your first time deposit. Up to $2,000 extra money added to your account as you play. Of course, gamble responsibly. Do not risk more than you can afford to lose. Use good bankroll management and good things will happen. See you on the tables. I play as the BOSKI. For the 8K big blind ante, I'm in a middle position with ace 10 of diamonds and 140,000. Make it 16,000 to go. Small blind shelves all in for 94,000. So there's 12 bigs, he's 10, pretty marginal. We do have some online poker sweats. So we are incentivized to gamble, go big or go home and play all the tournaments in the comfort of my home. We decide to gamble, that's right. We stick it in and we see the bad news, which is ace queen offsuit. Luckily he doesn't block any of our 10 outs. Let's roll the footage, let's see what happens. We got video. All the 10s are live. And we get the big double. That is what we'd like to see. My tournament life was not on the line, so it's all good, baby. Five, seven, seven, next hand is a restart. The other switch your dice. With the 12,000 big blind, we're making moves. We're chipping back up to about 223,000. Went under the gun, desperate stack, shoves 57,000. Middle position reg puts in the flat call, folds us on the button, and we have ace queen offsuit. What do you do? We're definitely ahead of the original shovers range, but what about the callers? How often are they going to fold and we just get to run it with the dead money? Let's find out. I'm all in ace queen off 223,000. Everyone folds to the caller who folds and we're up against uh, Jack 10 off or something. We got some video. We hold versus Jack 10 off and we're sitting about three bitty. With blinds at 6,000, 12,000. Early position opens at 24,000. I'm next to with two red ladies. Make it 65,000 to go. Folds back to him and he puts in the call. I assume we're ahead. Flop comes, king, eight, four, two clubs. What's he repping? Not easy. He checks. We shouldn't be as afraid of the king here because we block, double block, king, queen. We double block, king, queen. Hopefully he's folding king, jack, and he's probably gonna four bet jam the ace king like most people do. He's not an elderly Caucasian male after all. So we check it back for a little pop control and it turns a beautiful one, a king. And he quickly bets out pretty large, 75,000. He's just got that flush draw trying to get us off ace high, mid pairs. We put in the call, he's got about 200,000 behind. The river's a five, six, seven gets there, not very likely. And he quickly, like three seconds, shoves all in, 200,000. We have him covered, we have about 350,000, about, about, about 350. And we decided to call. I mean, it's one of the best hands we're gonna have here. We can do some bluffs and we call and get shown two red Easts. Nice cooler. And uh, we're down to like 12 blinds. Let's find some good spots. Uh, so we're in quite a few pots, just picking spots and people are playing pretty straightforward, it seems like. So if they play back at us, it should be a cause for concern. And we have like uh, 400,000. What a comeback. Well, rest it, man. Did you ever see this before? Right? I saw one time at the Aria, and he left for an hour and came back. And he said, With a 20,000 big blind, folds the cutoff, who grips it and rips it for 650,000. We're next to act with 475,000 in pocket jacks. You want to call off your tournament with jacks here? Uh, the answer is 100% yes. He would be min-raising any better hands than this in theory. So we put in the call. We're playing a million chip pot. Heads up versus pocket sevens. 80% never felt so good. Let's hold. Mm. 
We do hold and we have a milli stack. We got some chips to play with now. Over 50 big blinds. The very next hand, same player shoves in the hijack, 190,000. We're next to act with East, nine of clubs. We put in the call for just under 10 bigs. Guy to my left, looks disgusted, goes in the tank and shoves all in for 425. Just over double what I put in there, folds back around to me. Definitely don't think we're ahead, but we're getting the right price. We put in the call and we're up against East Queen. And East Queen, we got the clubs, we got the nines, we got the chop outs. Let's see what happens. Perfect, all, all the nines are alive. Wow. Tons of nines and clubs. Yeah, I do have more diamonds. Club blocker. There we go. Deuce down, dealer. Deuce down. No. We do not chop, we do not flush, we do not nine, and we double up one guy and give some courtesy 235k to another guy. Easy come, easy go. Twenty-five k big blind under the gun plus one raises to fifty thousand. We're in middle position with two black aces, make it one hundred and thirty thousand with about a five fifty stack. He goes deep into the tank and eventually bolts, and we take it down. Twenty-five thousand dollar big blind. We're in early position with pocket aces, both black again. Nice shuffle, dealer. Just a few orbits later, raises up to fifty thousand. Asian male, age 30 to 60, calls on the button. Local red calls in the big blind. We're off to see a flop of seven, six, three, two diamonds. Hopefully no one flopped a set on us. I bet large, we don't have a diamond, 120,000. Asian male, 30 to 60 on the button. Flat calls with about 275,000 behind. Big blind quickly folds. Do we want to see an ace of diamonds? Doesn't matter what we want to see. An ace of diamonds pops off on the turn. We now beat sets, but we lose to flushes. He's got a flush, we got boat outs. Not even a pot size bet remaining. So we shove all in with top set. He looks disgusted and folds. Looks like it was an action killer. I think I heard him say he had pocket knives. All right, neither of those cards may want to go. 10 seconds. Yeah. And we're on second break, about 27 remain. I have uh, about 850,000 at this point. Feeling good. Done playing online, busted everything. And the Surface Pro the battery cannot handle hours and hours of online poker, apparently. <laughs> Gonna have to find a, a remedy for that. What blind's that? 20,000, 40,000, 40,000. Action folds to me in the small blind, and I look down at East King offsuit. We have an aggressive European to our left with a big stack. I contemplate limping. And I think about the merits of what they're going to shove versus our limp against what they're going to call versus our shove. And I decide to randomize a shove and he snap calls and we see that we're slightly behind. He has pocket queens, blind versus blind. What are the odds? 1.2 million chip pot, 21 remain, big double. Here's the video. He's king, baby. There it is. The cooler. Oh, man, he got it. Local reg opens 100K at 2040. I'm on the button with Ace Jack. We're six handed, 19 remain. 1.1 million chips, we just flat call. Big blind comes along, flop comes Jack. Eight, seven, two clubs, one diamond. We don't have either. Action goes check, 125K bet. We just call. Uh, board is very wet, but you know, we do have top top. We have position as well, and the big blind quickly folds. The turn is a nine of diamonds. One to the straight, two flush draws. It doesn't get wetter than this. Or as Drake said, it doesn't get any more sticky than this. And my opponent chooses an unusual bet sizing to the tune of 
800,000 all in. What's he repping? Can we fold top top here? He could have so many flush draws. Why would he shove a 10 here? Why would he shove a set here? If we do call and we're wrong, we're in horrible shape or drawing dead against sets and straights. We eventually fold our top top and move on to the next hand and leave uh, 225K behind. A few orbits later, the same local reg opens to 100,000 at 2040. I'm on the button with the King Jack of Clubs and 825K. Six handed, 19 still remain. Got to apply that pressure. 20 blind, re jam all day. Action folds back to him. He asks for a quick count. He sees it's under 900K and he snap calls. Uh oh. He shows Ace Jack offsuit. Pretty thin, but good call. Let's get there. Kidding me. Mm, that's a problem. We do not get there and we are out. And we are out. Of the win, $600, 250K guaranteed, 833 entrants, and we get 19 for $3,700. Our handed mob was sitting at 990,000 before this event. I was eyeballing seventh to crack the million mark, but it was not to be, and that's the reality of tournament poker. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. YouTube algorithm been hating on me real bad. Check out my other two recent videos. Peppermint Hippo, behind the scenes look at the newest strip club in Las Vegas, and over two years in the making, the Zero to 60 compilation, featuring over 40 cameos. Most of these people you probably know in the poker world. Check out those two videos after this one's over because we're out.